We're gonna do some Street Fighter. You just gotta clear your mind. Jean-Claude Van Damme, one of his finest acting roles. Bloodsport, blinded by the salt, cannot see anything, and he has to go by the Holy Spirit to fight this dude. Guy gets to use a fucking Swiss Army knife on his arm. Look at that. That's not fair. We need to survive. If for no better reason than to just piss off our enemies. Because every time we post really sad shit on Facebook, our enemies are sitting in a dark room, drinking our tears and eating cheese and assorted meats. So we need to shine. Even if we're sad, be your own best friend. Buy yourself a dessert. And if you survive long enough, you can see your enemies fucking fall apart on their Facebook, on their Instagram. Shitty people don't survive for too long. Sooner or later, they'll make critical errors. Sooner or later, they'll make mistakes. And sooner or later, you're gonna prevail because you're a fucking champion. They're made out of cat shit. You're made out of champagne. Don't ever forget that. Never forget your enemies are gonna try to remove all the hope in your eyes. They'll do it through passive aggressive comments. How's your little TV show doing? I saw the link, I didn't click on it. Didn't you post about it on Facebook? Oh, I can't click on those at work. I'm sorry, Rob. You swamp witch, you never could click on the link. You can click on your boyfriend's link and let him get you pregnant while he stills landscaping in Danvers, Massachusetts. You can click on his link, right? They'll pay 90 to $200 to go see fish and you too at the Madison Square Garden, won't they? But they're not gonna ever pay for your art. Why? Because if you made it as an artist, it inadvertently points out the shackles on their own ankles. What are our enemies doing right now? What are our enemies doing right now? They're not celebrating beating ghouls and ghosts. They're eating lean, cold cuisine. And they're watching Friends reruns with their shitty spouses, watching their ugly cabbage kids grow. And we're champions right now. This is the day they got Jesus. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Hello, Mister. This is what Easter's all about. Celebrating Christ's death by doing speed runs on Sonic the Hedgehog. I love pulling my rabbit ears back like hair. Even though I do not have hair, it does look like when I do this with my rabbit ears, I'm coming out of the pool after a sweet dive. I'm like diving in the pool, and I'm like... Like Phoebe Cates in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. We're champions. Fluffy ears and the fluffy tail. I hope you guys like the Easter room. It took me like 30 minutes to make today. Like, put all the pictures in there. And you know how hard it is to find a lady with bunny ears and boobs on Google? Those are not Easter whippets. I'm just sucking the whipped cream out of here. God. Now I'm alone this year. No big deal. I'm joking. I, I don't want to go over there for Easter. To go over to your relatives for Easter, and it turns into a Senate committee hearing, and your relatives start grilling you. Are you still living in a band jam space? Are you still unemployed? Still doing your little band? I saw the link. Didn't click on it. My grandmother used to tell me I was fat all the time. Then I got thin, and she said I might have AIDS. I don't like when my rabbit ears are down because I look like Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars. Misa Sucky at Castlevania. He looks like my dad. I'm fighting my dad on Easter. What a treat. Trump should have got a second term. They should storm the Capitol again, Bob. And this time they should take it. Oh, I was just between my dad's sweaty thighs. I have a sexual outdoors cat. Her name is Red. Multicolored. But look it. She walks away. She doesn't love me like she used to. I don't care if my dad doesn't want me over for Easter. Who's gonna put on the passion like Christ, watch Jesus get whipped a thousand times, and then pass out at 5 p.m. I'm your Simon Belmont. I got whipped cream. That anarchist dog saying this is turning into my OnlyFans. I don't think putting whipped cream on my chest was a good idea, guys. It's sticky. There is a rabbit with a pink nose. When I eat this lobster roll in this photo, I'm thinking about my enemies. How they want me hiding in my bedroom, 
listening to Elliot Smith playing Ninja Gaiden without even twitching it. Depression gaming, which is fine, but don't use it as a crutch. We're beautiful kings. We're gonna live forever. I deal with depression every day, man. I hate the way my bald head looks in the mirror. Jobs at Amazon. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! See, we can't dwell too much on depression because the video game picks up on that. We gotta think positive thoughts. I know it's hard sometimes. Our enemies want us to be on Facebook all day, rage posting, shit posting our friends. Don't think about those bastards from your high school. The only highlight about gym class was Jesse Field taking a shit in the sink. He took a shit in the gym class, bathroom sink. What a god. Why do they have Mike Tyson over the shoot games? This is, these are all shooting games right here. But I guess the Japanese are like, yes, put Mike Tyson's face over all the shooting games. Like Mike Tyson's punch out is under sports, but they insist on having his image over the shoot games because he's such a scary person. It, it, it's racist. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Be a star. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Be a star. No, yes. I got the code. Don't ever give up when you're cheating. That's what that meant. Eventually, your cheating and plotting will come through. Jealousy traps will pay off. I remember my dad would watch me playing this when I was a kid and stuff. My dad who went to Vietnam, saw a lot of shit, has a picture of a foot in the middle of the road, just a foot. And he laughs and he shows me the photo and he says, he learned his lesson. You know, I would be playing these gun games and like, wow, shoot him, shoot him. My dad would be walking through the living room. God, what was he thinking? This wasn't what it was like. He saw some awful shit over in Vietnam. And then fucking Oliver Stone and Stanley Kubrick didn't do me any favors by releasing all those Vietnam movies in the 80s. My dad would watch those movies and he'd go nuts. You know, he watched Platoon and he'd see like Charlie Sheen in the village and they're lighting the village on fire, all the huts. And my dad, that's what really happened. And he'd be all tricked drinking his cores, yelling at me, they're gonna fuck you over too, Rob. You know, the movie would pass and he'd forget about it and then Full Metal Jacket would come out and it would happen all over again. He'd watch it on HBO and he'd scream at the TV, that's what really fucking happened. And then Born on the 4th of July came out. I'm like, give me a fucking break. Why do these directors keep triggering my dad? Every time my dad would go through flashbacks, relapses, start wearing a bandana around the house, listening to White Rabbit, getting in fight with the other parents at Little League? That was a lot to put into Contra. I'm sorry, you guys. These bastards killed my goddamn wife. We gotta do something about it. Hold on one second. These little shits owe me some potions. Get over here, you little bastard. Maybe we can send him into that abyss. <gasps> and his friends just committed suicide. Did you see that? Okay, we have enough potions. All right, get out of here. I can't carry anymore, you little shit. I said get out of here. Oh, I just killed my little brother. Okay, I wasn't ready. He keeps saving his game too. We're both cheating. This is like Major League Baseball in the late 90s. Everybody's just using steroids. Yes! Son of a bitch! We did it! We cheated. I cheated like a son of a bitch, but I'm a dirty champion. Oh, we're gonna have a big feast. Did you hear what the king said? I don't want to meet the cast. Screw these wieners. None of these people were real. You don't have to introduce fictional characters at the end like they need credits. Like these guys have IMDBs. Height 5'10". Like central casting's gonna put these guys in the background of like the next Fast and Furious movie or some shit. And how do you play Tetris? I got right here. The Tetris tattoo of a long block. The line on this. Okay, here we go. That's a line. To get the big points, we gotta make four lines at once. So we need a long line. You can't be waiting on a long block in life that ain't coming. You gotta work with the shitty blocks you have. You're gonna get a lot of crooked blocks in life. A lot of real shitty blocks that are gonna say they're gonna help you with your comedy career, make a new album, and they're just gonna screw you over. But you can't let these shitty blocks build up. We just gotta keep our debt low. Look at this. I've only gotten one long block the whole Whole damn game. It's like expecting somebody beautiful to come into your life or a big opportunity. It doesn't come when you want the opportunity. There's that long block. We weren't living for it. We weren't expecting it, but it came. Hallelujah. Feel the healing power of a Tetris. Oh, look, now we're getting long blocks up the ass. Nothing but long blocks for days. I fell in love with an outdoors cat. 
I wish that the days would last, they went so fast. All right, locked and loaded. We're gonna be moving over to the Turbo Graphics 16 tonight. A lot of karate right now. I need, oh, holy shit, is that my dad? He's got the army pants on. This game is triggering. Vietnam changed my dad. Then he knocked up my mom. But love was in the air, I came. Yes, I beat my dad, hell of a comeback. They used the exact same boss, my dad, but now they made him black. Oh, I'm not gonna fight her. She's got that weird goose technique. She's fierce. I'm gonna call her Goosey. Karate, 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 karate. It's literally Trump or Giuliani. This is Donald and Rudy. You've reached us at Four Seasons Landscaping. There's Rudy. He's gonna go scare up some votes for me in Minnesota. If I can just find 13,000 more votes around here, I can take Georgia. Nice, we made it into the gender neutral bathroom. Oh, there's the American Eagle above us. He's trying to shit on our dreams. That's it. We lost the election. One term president. This is a classic. If you have nice cheese, assorted meats, set up a platter because we're about to feast. Bonk's adventure. Look at this. God damn it, we're kings right now. What do you have? Oh. I'm gonna rage again. You guys killed my fucking wife. I'm on cocaine. Oh, volcano after volcano. Just when you think you've cleared a volcano in life, there's a bigger volcano behind it. Here comes Bernie Sanders again. Look at him. Just wants to raise the minimum wage to $28 an hour, universal health care, and I have to kill him? And look at this, Jeff Bezos comes up and Jeff Bezos takes it away from us. What an asshole. Guy makes a trillion dollars a year and look at this, Jeff Bezos has our wife with a sword to her throat. He only gives his workers $15 an hour. I can't talk to you right now, I'm doing hot dog shit. And we're just gonna keep rocking and roll. No, oh, I got too arrogant. I got too damn arrogant. I should have never answered the hot dog phone. There's Jeff Bezos right there. You son of a bitch, give us health care. Give us full time hours, you're a prick. Oh, how come you don't deliver to my front steps, needle dick? Oh, he's the coronavirus. Yes. What is Jeff Bezos doing to my girlfriend now? Oh, he has her on a cross and he's doing his weird Wiccan ceremony. No wonder why his wife divorced him. Okay, round three. We're now at an Amazon warehouse in New York. Ants have stingers on their dick holes. Uh, apparently the demons coming from above are just independent contractors. They don't necessarily work for Jeff Bezos. I'm gonna lower the music and maybe this is a time to just look at Aaron the King Bro, Wizard again. Look at him. Shinobi. He brought Shinobi no, over. Look at Shinobi, look at him, mother That's me right there, check it out. I used to get so high with Shinobi him down in Roxbury, Massachusetts. Shinobi. It's like killing an elephant with a sniper rifle. You know, it is, there's a lot of cheating right now, but this is a hard character. I couldn't beat him in a million years. Sarah approves of this method. It's cheating, it's the right way. If I was a wrestler, I'd be a bad guy wrestler. I'd be a heel. I'd bring five of my friends ringside. We distract the referee. We hit the good guy with the chair like a couple hundred times. That's why China and me live together. <laughs> because she liked heels. She liked guys that would do anything it takes to win the title. To win two titles. I got both fanny packs from the WWE. Bobby Two Belt here. Look at this. That's you right there. You're that dolphin. He's drunk as shit right there. Look at those watery eyes. Do you do anything on this game and collect dolphin unemployment and snort dolphin Adderall with your dolphin friends? Down here, there is no coronavirus. Down here, it's sweet freedom with Echo the Dirty Festival Dolphin. My dolphin's broken. My dolphin just wants to swim on the bottom of the ocean looking for Coke or like Molly or Kay. Doesn't seem like the other dolphins are pressuring me to get a job. They probably all got their stimulus checks and they're all just snorting dolphin rails of Percocets off each other's dolphin tits. Hey, who are you? Perhaps the big blue will help you. Well, what about you, Needle Dick? You gonna help me? This is like a bad Pink Floyd album. 
Where is he going? Why did he move so fast? You see how fast that effing whale got out of here? He says, like the roadrunner. Let's do this again. These sons of bitches took my wife. Mail order, Brad. Anyways, I don't know why I'm saving my wife. She's a swamp witch. She doesn't deserve to be saved. My wife doesn't wear a mask because she's an anti-masker. She voted for the Johnster twice. She thinks that the elections were rigged. We were in Panera Bread and the waiter came up to me and he's like, excuse me, ma'am, we're not gonna serve you unless you wear a mask. So they threw her out and then these bastards took her all the way to that castle at the end. This guy, my wife, did you? You ever see that scene in Raging Bull where Robert De Niro's freaking out on Joe Pesci? He thinks he slept with his wife. He's like, did you f my wife? That's how we have to be right now. Did you f my wife? We're yelling at this hurricane in the middle of nowhere. Did you f my wife? Did you? I'm not going to say the F word. I still want to get Snapple to sponsor for this. Come on. Oh, I'm going to beat him. Oh, he's turning into a shit storm. Get away from me. Ugh. It's so close, these hands. They look like strong hands. Ah, oh, itchy nose. My body's rebelling against me. My body's like, fuck you. I, I, we don't want you to win the game, Rob. So we're gonna make your nose itch right when you need the jump. You ever get that? Mr. Biden, yo, where you at? Where's my stimulus check, you mother rat? This cat's hungry, I need to feed the cat. Anybody like the giraffe outfit though? Look at this, I got the ears, I got everything. I can make the guy go to the bathroom right here. I know a lot of people get a kick out of this. <laughs> Look at it. See, it looks like a little stream of poo going down. I used to do that, seventh grade. I guess I shouldn't do it anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's, uh, and this is actually the women's SmackDown belt. I'd probably have to start in the women's league in the WWE and work my way up. Oh yeah, he was crop. And just like that, we're dead. No funeral, no wake. Don't even notify his relatives. Your son died trying to save a princess. He fell off a tongue. That's all you're gonna be able to tell his mom on the phone. Your son fell off a tongue while he was trying to save the princess. Here we go. God, what's coming out of his noodle down there? <laughs> Look at the hole down there. Like if you can like zoom in, it's got blue stuff coming out of it. That weird hole at the bottom. And he has buck teeth kind of thrown off. It's dripping out of his little cornhole down there. I don't want to, ugh. When I get there, he's shooting stuff out of his butthole. It's such a fucking scene. My girlfriend got kidnapped yesterday at Panera Bread while we were arguing about whether or not she should wear a mask and she wasn't wearing a mask. And then this guy that you're seeing up here with the bird legs, he took her. And I kind of was happy that this guy took her. I was like, well, he's doing her a favor. And then the villagers were like, well, you gotta do something. You can't let him rain terror on us. And I'm like, oh, you're right, you're right. Bye. I wish you could swim like dolphins, like dolphins can swim. I never understood that, Larry. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Man, God, there she is. My awful, awful ex-lady friend, the anti-masker herself. Ah. And we're just gonna put together Toe Jam and Earl's spaceship. There's the final piece. We're going home Cause I'm your lady See a lot of Genesis games, video games Usually they end, we beat the game This one actually lets you go back to Toe Jam and Earl's home planet And just screw around there for eternity Like that's why I love the end of this game It goes forever There's our relatives, hello, welcome home Oh, she's like a green version of me. That's like a seven and a half right there. I date her. Hey, the end. But it's not the end because you can permanently explore the end of this game. It's like heaven. Most games end. They're going to roll stupid credits and then they reset. She's single. This is where we need to stay and just do dope all day and talk to the villagers about how I beat this game and nobody pressures me anymore. You're my forearm side girl over there. What are you waving at me? Is that money? Oh, my baby's bringing me money. God, I want to chase her around the village with a hot dog. She's great. I had like five kids with this broad and now I want to date that forearm side girl down in the village. Faulty, faulty equipment. Call OSHA. We better. Look at this. Just trying to see. I need another tongue. Oh, 
Am I happy to see you? Oh, these tongues, they're now like the helicopters that get you out of Vietnam. You know, they come down and they save you and you can go back to your family and forget about Lyndon Johnson and his god-awful policies. These worms killed your wife. These are the worms that killed Robert's wife. Doctor is visiting me. All that I see 